What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna tell you what my life is like after running my business for seven years. Now, quick disclaimer, this video is gonna be very different from my typical videos because I am in a completely different location, as you might see from this jungle and from the ocean behind me and this gorgeous sunset right here. I am in beautiful Punta Mita, Mexico. And I figured that I would just grab my cell phone and uh, have a sort of stream of consciousness conversation with you guys to share some of these thoughts that I've been having. So if you're new here, I've been running my own business called Algo Expert for uh, over seven years now, since February 2017. Algo Expert is a company that helps software engineers prepare for technical interviews. We've done very well for ourselves. We've grown tremendously since I uh, created the business back in 2017. And over the course of these seven years, my life has changed dramatically. Uh, you know, during the first few years of running the business, as a lot of my uh, old viewers know, I was working like 24 seven. You know, I was, it was constantly working nonstop. And when I started the business, I was uh, also having a, a full-time job as a software engineer at Google, then at Facebook for like over two years. And so I was juggling that and running Algo Expert. So it was really nonstop, like very little sleep, sacrificing a lot. And then when uh, we quit our full-time jobs and went full-time on Algo Expert, for the following, let's say, three years, so, you know, about five years of the business, it was still like work, 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 nonstop, you know, grow at all costs, really try to like make it, so to speak. And uh, make it, we did, kind of. And so now, over the la these last two years, look at this beautiful sunset. Do you see it? Let me try to focus on it. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm, I've been doing a, a time lapse here. Uh, I'll probably show the time lapse in the video on my other phone. It's absolutely gorgeous. And in the video, it doesn't quite capture how orange and like bright this sun is. Anyway, I divigate. So um, over the last couple years, my life has really changed. And I'm talking about because of the business and the, the, the stage that the business has uh, reached. So you know, like I said, during these first five years, it was like, go, go, go all the time. And then we kind of reached maturity. The business became much more um, like self-operational, uh, kind of almost like on autopilot. Things became way easier to do, to scale. It was easier to add products on the platform, to acquire customers and so on and so forth, to the point that I would say over the last 12 months now, but really 24 months, but kind of like progressively faster. I have had more and more and more and more time, freedom, and, and less of a requirement to work constantly. And uh, in this video, that's what I want to talk about, like the kind of pros and cons. The pros might seem obvious of that, the cons not so much. The pros and cons of you know, having run a successful business for seven years and reaching this stage. So what are the pros? Well, the two most obvious pros are time and freedom. I am at a point now in the business's life where I have a lot of time. Dare I say, like almost unlimited time. Why? Because like I implied a few seconds ago, a few minutes ago, I have like very little work to do these days compared to before. And uh, on top of this time, I have complete and utter freedom. Now, to be clear, I've always had freedom ever since I quit my full-time jobs at Google and Facebook. Like as soon as I was on my own, uh, only working on Algo Expert, I wasn't reporting to anybody. So, you know, I had the freedom to do whatever I wanted when I wanted. I could go to lunch when I wanted. I could go to bed when I wanted. But there was still a sort of obligation both to myself and to the business or the business, the, the business's other team members to like, you know, be there. 
you know, I had to be there. I had responsibilities towards them and towards myself. And so with that came a sort of lack of freedom. That's the weird, like, uh, kind of paradox when you run your own business is that on the one hand, you have complete freedom from other people. Like, you don't have a boss anymore. But suddenly you realize, oh, wait, I'm actually, like, chained to my own business. I'm chained to my own self. I'm chained to my customers, etc. Okay. However, what I'm saying now is that over the last few years, that freedom, like I've regained that freedom purely by way of the business reaching uh, a certain level of maturity and uh, being on autopilot. And that is truly amazing. Like, as I'm sure many of you can imagine, it's awesome to, to be able to do whatever you want whenever you want, without needing to ask for permission, and without needing to feel guilty or anything like that. Now, by the way, quick quick side note, you have to train yourself to not feel guilty. Uh, I remember about two, three years ago, when things started to calm down at Algo Expert, and I started to realize, like, huh, like, maybe I can go on a vacation now. Maybe I can you know, travel a little bit. Maybe I can do X, Y, Z. I was feeling guilty at first. I was like, but wait a second, I need to be constantly working. Like if I, if I go on vacation and I'm not working, you know, am I going to let myself down? Am I going to let the business down? And so that was kind of a, a learning curve in and of itself. But, um, the point of the matter is like, yes, once you allow yourself to, to, to take advantage of this complete freedom, it's awesome. But this is where some of the cons of, you know, having this life of being your own boss and, and having, you know, unlimited time and freedom, this is when the cons start to, to kind of enter into your life. And so let me try to, to, to explain these cons for some of you who, who might be, you know, confused of them. So the first con that comes with this life is the con of you, you feel like you, you no longer have discipline, or rather, you, you have a much greater burden to be disciplined. Like, when you have responsibilities, when you don't have unlimited freedom, when you don't have unlimited time, you naturally have discipline that is kind of thrown onto you. And, and that can actually be really helpful. It's like this invisible this this burden that is actually an invisible blessing, a blessing in disguise. Like, oh, you have to wake up every day to go to work and you have to wake up every day at 7 a.m., you know? Well, there's actually kind of a, a niceness to that. There's something good about that. Whereas, oops, sorry. Whereas, um, you know, when you're, when you're, when you have unlimited freedom to do whatever you want and all that, you have no responsibilities. You have no one to, to, to cater to, things can kind of spiral out of control quickly. Like one day you go to bed super late, the next day you wake up super late, next day you do, you do the same thing, next day you do the same thing, then you forget to eat, but it doesn't really matter because you know you can catch up on your health the next day because you have nowhere to go, and you you start to spiral out of control really quickly, and that can be really bad, and so. All that to say, you need to really remind yourself to be self-disciplined. The second thing um, that comes with uh, you know, unlimited time and unlimited uh, freedom is an unironically boredom. And I know this one is going to be one that people like roll their eyes at. Like, what are you talking about? How can you be bored when you've got like, you can do whatever you want all day long and all that. But, you know, just as with everything in life, it's like you 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 kind of like crave what you don't have so when you are um you know working non-stop 24 7 never taking vacations and all that you crave to have seven days of vacation or seven months of vacation or seven years of vacation where you can do you know whatever you want you can focus on your hobbies catch up on shows uh read books catch up on movies travel so on and so forth but when you start to have that you know for the first seven days amazing First seven months, probably still amazing. But then 
you know, there's only so many movies you can watch. So there's only so much YouTube you can consume. There's only so many books you can read before you start to kind of like, you know, crave a bit of a change or crave something different. And so this is something that, you know, I've been really conflicted with uh, over the last, let's say, six months or so, because like, yeah, you, you just inevitably start to be flat out bored. You're flat out bored and you start to once again have a feeling of guilt, kind of like the feeling of guilt I was saying earlier of like when you're trying to to allow yourself to go on a vacation, you know, after working nonstop for so many years. Here it's like you you have to you feel really guilty because you're like, how am I bored? Like I'm not allowed to be bored when I have this amazing perk of complete and utter freedom, you know? And yet you are bored. Like, over the last few months, I've been really thinking, okay, well, how can I not be bored? Maybe I need to like expand my hobbies a little bit or explore new hobbies. Maybe I need to, um, you know, really think about finding some sort of purpose, like, you know, after work. And I think, you know, there's been this realization of, I used to find so much purpose and meaning in my work, and I'll go expert. And now that is no longer like the thing taking up all my time and attention. And so I feel like I've lost a little bit of that purpose of that meaning, and I need to refine it. And I can't say that I've necessarily that I necessarily have found it, but I'm looking for it. I'm, I'm thinking about it more actively. And um, yeah, you know, it's it's not easy. Is it a great problem to have? Yes, I'm not complaining, but. It's not easy, you know, and it's just something to think about. Like, if you know, I guess like one of the overarching messages that I have with this video, with this like rant, this twelve-minute rant. If you've made it this far, um, <laughs> I'm I'm happy that you're listening to my rant. Feel free to leave like a let's see, what emoji could you leave? Leave a hamburger emoji in the comments below to let me know that you've made it to to this point in the video, and I will I will try to heart it. But um, yeah, the, the, the main message I, I want to send here is that like, if you're someone who, who maybe is not running your own business yet, uh, but who, who feels like you, know, you, you want to because you crave that unlimited time and freedom, I'm not here to discourage you or to tell you like, oh no, it's not, it's not good. It's not what it's cut out to be. No, it's fantastic. But it does come with some you know, negatives, uh, some negatives that uh, you have to work uh, through and that you can honestly kind of work through already just by way of like doing some internal reflection about you know what are you looking for in life what kind of purpose like what brings you purpose is it work is it something else um and so on and so forth but uh as a final sort of closing thought one thing that is also amazing about having like so much time and freedom but that you know it goes back to the self-discipline of like you have to actually make use of it is you can really focus on your health um and here you know i'm talking mental health physical health emotional health spiritual health whatever um but I, for me specifically i would say like physical health during the the first few years of algo expert um it was so easy to sacrifice kind of everything above like algo expert came first above everything else and so i sacrificed sleep Sleep was the worst. I sacrificed, you know, my diet. Like, I was eating, like, garbage all the time. Um, I was skipping the gym a lot, even though, like, I love the gym. And I used to never skip the gym. And so now, over the last year or so, I've really, really, really been trying to stay self-disciplined um, and focus on these things. Like, focus on my health, you know. Focus on my sleep. Like, I have zero excuse to not sleep well when when I have so much time and so much freedom I have zero excuse to skip the gym and so now these days I'm super happy I've been back at the gym like super consistently I'm the strongest I've been like ever um I've been bulking a lot which is what I've been wanting to do um I've been eating super well and of course it helps to have like a support system I've got an amazing girlfriend who's uh you know super helpful like to keep me disciplined and keep me motivated and keep me you know we go to the gym together we um you know she like wakes me up on time <laughs> keeps me on a good schedule um cooks great food and all that but uh yeah health super important and uh something that like 
I truly have no excuse to, to skip out on. And it, honestly, it's like, it's probably the, the, the biggest piece of advice that I would give for anybody who's not quite at this sort of unlimited time, unlimited freedom point, but who's like working towards there is be careful how much of your health you sacrifice to get here. Because, um, like I've always said this before, health is a currency. You can trade it, right? Like I traded some of my health for uh, some of the Algo Expert's success and some of my you know current success to get to where I'm at in life. But at what cost, you know, uh, health is kind of a, you know, it, it's more of a unidirectional thing than a bidirectional thing. It's harder to gain back health that you've spent. And so, um, yeah, just be wary of that. And uh, if you do get to a point where you have lots of time, lots of freedom, focusing on your health and trying to be really self-disciplined to focus on your health is going to be super important. Anyway, listen, this is uh, my rant. This is my stream of consciousness rant. Um, hopefully, uh, if you've made it this far, you found some value out of it. And uh, let me know if you did. Let me know what your thoughts are. And I will see you in the next video. Look at this beautiful sunset. Look at this. The sky is all orange and like yellow. And the sun is right behind the water horizon here. All right. See you guys.